Hey guys, what is up? The Gunther Buzz 5 here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today, I want to show you a seed that me and my friend found that we thought was pretty dang interesting. Now, how you're going to be able to do it is go to Create New. Of course, you're going to have to create the world. Now, you'll want to be able to have a full look at it, so go ahead and make it cr make your world creative. Just a lot of things you can do do however you want, but go ahead and put this seed in. It will should show up right here. Three, nine, six, seven, nine, three, three, three. Put that in. Press done. Then go here. Go, and just keep going through this. And make sure all this experimental stuff is on. You know, like, let's go down here to... Hold on. It's the experimental stuff. Okay. Activate that. And, yeah, I think in general you'll need... Uh, I think at least you'll need uh, these two on. But, we'll go ahead and see. Actually, let's go ahead and go back. We'll see. Uh, we'll hopefully see with this one now. Let's see here. So, what... Uh, so what you'll uh, need is, let's see here, experiments. So you'll need caves and cliffs and holiday cre uh, creator features on. And then once you actually do that, you're, uh, it should pull up the map. And my, my friend has already been able to do it, and I uh, did it. I, I was able to get to the map after he, uh, uh, he uh, was able to find it. So I was uh, there in the same map as well. So uh, you can uh, go ahead and try it. Now also make sure that your game is fully updated when you do this as well. That way it doesn't mess with it or anything. So you have to have the top two experiments on, the seed in, and your game completely updated to its fullest as of most recently. And uh, it'll load any second now. Once it does, you'll spawn, uh, you'll actually spawn right next to this. And if you don't, then most likely something it isn't right. You didn't turn on the two experiments at the top. You didn't, uh, you didn't have your game all the way updated or something like that. Or, uh, or maybe you forgot to put the seed in. But you gotta have all three of those things down and packed for this to be able to work. You know, I... I want to go ahead and fast forward because this thing does not want to load and I'm going to have to hit the hay here in a little bit. Any second now. Here we go. It'll spawn you in uh, somewhere around this area. And if you're in creative mode, you'll be able to fly and then turn around and take a look. Holy crap, dude. You spawned at this area. And you go around and look at the design it's got. Look at how it is. You got this entire open area down here. You got the way it's carved out through here going this way. And look at how expansive it is. So yeah. Uh, what you'll... And look, you'll also see uh, some... Uh, some minor but still kind of odd stuff this for example some dripstone in the same exact place as a block of water that's not supposed to happen I'm pretty dang sure but anyways you can see the way it's uh, kind of terraformed and look, look at this look at this look at this look at what it's doing yeah some of the things are like that and look at how big the area is. It's going to stretch on for quite a ways. I mean, look at this. Got all these areas throughout here. And it still keeps going. And you got that entire open cavern to work with. Not to mention you also spawn with a dang jungle in front of you. And basically with that, you got the entire area there. And look at this. This area here, it's like a little miniature dome. Uh, 
They'll have a heck of a time trying to find your way out at certain points, though. Hmm. And, yeah, I think straight up through here is where you'll... Yeah, th there's the opening again. It's quite an expensive area. You'll have plenty of places to go and adventure to. And then once you rise up, look at this. You're you're spawned right next to to a village and a jungle. The heck? I know, right? So you got a village here you can go ahead and go to. And you got a dang jungle biome with everything you'll possibly need. Now, I don't know if these items will spawn in the chests once I find uh, some chests. But I'm going to try to just take a look around and see what we can actually get from this. Because this seems like one of those seeds that will give you extremely good stuff. Depends. It just kind of depends. I like how Steve looks like he's got a suntan all of a sudden. Or a sunburn. Actually, it does a chest even spawn here. We know a golem spawns here. Is there no chests? There's really not much to loot for the people who want to loot. Unless there's just a chest in this house, which at this point I highly doubt it. Yeah, there's literally nothing here to loot. So, yeah. If you turn on, uh... Oh, and check it, check this out. My friend didn't even notice this, I don't think. There is ruins of a nether uh, portal over here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Look at this. You've hit the jackpot. If you're getting the same thing. Now, most likely it's probably not going to give you the exact same thing, but you never know. So let's keep looking around a little bit further. Look at these big old areas. Got this entire... This, and look at this. There's another village back here. The luck, man. The luck of this spawn. Look at this, and there's another cavern area. Well designed, too. There's <laughs> plenty of stuff to get here. Okay, here's a chest. A compass and some paper. Go ahead and take the compass. If you're a classic Minecraft player, it depends. You got bread. Yeah, everyone needs the bread. And look at this. Food and emeralds. You're hitting more of a jackpot than what you thought. Huh. <laughs> oh, and I know I know uh, which friend actually uh, helped me out with this, so... Well, not really helped me out, but... Okay, that just accidentally slipped out to uh, helping uh, me out. Because he didn't really help me out. He just, uh... Well, you know what I mean. But you got this entire area here. Yeah, this whole thing. You got two villages. You got a remains of a nether portal. There's that huge cavern and another small cavern back there. And, like, your spawn couldn't be any better. And look, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Tell me it's not beautiful. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. That was creepy. Never again. Never again, game. But we're going to go ahead and go over here. I want to go ahead and... Uh... No, stop it, game. Look, tell me this is not beautiful. Look at the way it's made. The beautiful... El beautifulness. Yes. Stop, stop making my character blink like that game, please. I don't want Steve to be coming in my nightmares. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Who got all you would ever want here? Hey, look at that glow squid. You got the glow areas too? Yeah, areas with... They just spawned there. Areas with lots of glow squid. And not to mention, while you're moving around, you'll find plenty of uh, materials. I've already encountered several areas with uh, diamond or redstone. There's plenty of coal. There's some lapis. There's gold, iron, 
little bit of everything you'll need around here. Except for emerald ore, which emerald ore is near impossible to find in Minecraft games now. I know, kind of odd. I'm doing this because I can. But yet, this right here, the beauty. Hold on, hold on. Let's try to capture the beauty with those horses there. Look at this. Tell me this isn't beauty. And snap. We got ourselves a photo. Well, guys, I just want to show you that uh, seed. If you uh, find it pretty fun or pretty helpful, then make sure to uh, tell me or my friend whose channel you'll find down in the description. And tell one of us what you thought, because we'd like to know what you thought of this seed. But anyways, do honestly hope you enjoyed it. Be a master, master and I'll see you guys next time. If you want to uh, see me do a gameplay on this uh, actual world, then tell me down in the comments, and I certainly will. Till then, be a master, stay a master, see you guys next time. Good night, everybody! Compass. Map. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Bye now.